Let's go straight now to Yvonne Dege, who is in the Nigerian capital, Abuja. Is there any more clarity at your end? Yvonne. Well, Gita, we've managed. Well, Gita, we've managed to speak to eyewitnesses on the ground who reported uh, hearing a massive explosion just very close to the army base you describe, and a huge plume of smoke uh, in the air. Naturally, the event sent people running helter skelter, worried that it was some kind of premeditated bomb attack or the beginning of a series of attacks, given what's been going on uh, in northern Nigeria recently uh, in relation to the Boko Haram Islamist sect and the kinds of devices they've been planting. But as you said in the introduction, it's still very unclear as to what the cause was. Now, we understand, speaking again to eyewitnesses on the ground, that there were munitions, uh, army munitions, um, at this particular area, in this particular area, and it could therefore have been um, an accidental triggering of explosive devices. But at the moment, the Nigerian police and military are not speaking about what they believe the cause to be. And we're also told, again, from my witnesses, that the entire area has been cordoned off by the authorities. So it's very difficult to ascertain precisely what the cause of the blast was. We're just waiting for more information. Waiting for more information, but in the meantime, just looking at the location of these latest blasts, Yvonne, the fact that it's happened once again in Kaduna, in this northern, mainly Muslim uh, city, wh wh what is it about this city that has made it such a regular target if these attacks indeed do turn out to be the works of uh, Boko Haram or any other group? Well, truth be told, there haven't been regular attacks in Kaduna in particular, but more in the surrounding states like Kano, we saw those deadly attacks just two weeks ago by Boko Haram, where more than 200 uh, people were killed. But uh, this state does lie on the fault lines of the predominantly Muslim uh, northern Nigeria and the predominantly Christian southern Nigeria. And, of course, remember that the Boko Haram group have said that they will target anywhere. So if there's nothing specific about Kaduna that we can ascertain right now as to why Perhaps this has happened there. We do know, of course, as you were kind of alluding to, in the past there has been uh, religious tension and crisis. But again, we don't want to jump the gun because we still don't know what the cause of this was. But naturally, uh, given, as I said at the beginning, what's been going on in the region of recent, naturally people are afraid that this could have been uh, planted. This could have been an attack, excuse me, by the Boko Haram sect. But at, the, at this moment in time, there's no evidence of that. Thanks for the clarity. Uh, Yvonne Dege, thanks very much.